Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today we're gonna be making a lamb cake. So spring is almost here and I really wanted to make a really cute lamb cake because lambs are always born in the early spring. I grew up in like the farmland and I was definitely used to seeing them and they're so cute and I know that it's gonna make a really darling cake. So this cake is actually super simple to make. It's very easy and there's just a few steps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to roll out some fondant for my lamb's face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some rosettes um, all around it. And I'm gonna work on the fondant details and finally finish off with some really cute ears. So let's get started. So you guys can see I have a two layer eight inch cake here that's already crumb coated. I did go with an eight inch um, cake instead of a six inch because I wanted more space for the face and my lamb's face is actually gonna be on the top here. And I'm gonna be using my homemade marshmallow fondant for um, the base of my lamb's face. So you don't actually have to use fondant for this part. You could do it on all buttercream. I'm choosing to use fondant just so there's like a breakup of textures and so the surface is completely smooth. So to get the correct size of this, I'm actually just using an eight inch cake board and I'm gonna trim around this. So the edges are gonna be completely covered. Um, so I'm not worried that they're not completely like a smooth edge here. So I'm just gonna place this whoops, on my cake here. And I'm just gonna smooth this out. And I'm gonna trim a little bit around the edge here. Just gonna go ahead and trim away that excess fondant. And since I have my fondant out, I'm just gonna go ahead and work on my little lamb's ears. And I just made a template um, of like the ear shape, just so that I knew that I would be happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna add some pink to those ears. So this is also my homemade marshmallow fondant that I just dyed using some pink um, gel food coloring. And I'll be sure to link this episode in the show notes. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm using the same shape that I used for the ear for the white part. And I'm just gonna actually trim down the edge. a little bit of Wilton Dabenhold um, to adhere the pink to the white. So if you guys watch my channel, I use Dabenhold every single episode. I love it. It adheres fondant to fondant or fondant to crusted buttercream. And I'm not sponsored by them, but I totally should be because I use it all the time. So my ears are ready um, when I need them later. So I'm also going to cut out a little nose here and it's actually just gonna be a heart shape. Um, you could use pink buttercream for this, but I'm gonna use fondant. So I'm just gonna cut out a little heart shape here. I'm actually gonna cut out a few different sizes um, cause I'm not exactly sure how big it's gonna need to be on the face. So this way when I'm ready for it, I have a few options. Okay, so I will set these aside as well. So next what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go around um, adding my rosettes around the face so that way when I add the little lamb's facial features that they're placed correctly. So for this, I'm gonna be using my bright white buttercream and if you need a tip on how to do that, I am going to link the episode below. Um, and I'm using a Wilton 2D tip, which is like the rose tip. And I'm going to do one layer around the bottom and I'm actually gonna do two at the top of the lamb's face. So I'm just gonna carefully add rosettes all around the edge. So 
so I'm gonna add another layer of rosettes across the top of the lamb's face. Um, I am gonna add a flower crown at the end. Um, so anything that might not look perfectly clean or in line is okay, it's gonna get covered by some flowers. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add in my lamb's eyes. This is just my Americolor um, gel food coloring pen in black. So I'm just using some powdered food coloring to add some pink to the cheeks. I do this on a lot of my animal cakes. I think it just looks like a really cute touch. And I am gonna place my ears before I add the flower crown. So I'm gonna add some buttercream roses to this. So to do this, I'm just gonna stick my wax paper down and I'm creating a mound of frosting. So with my narrow side up, I'm going to just go around to create like the middle of the rose. So we have a little like bud like that. And I'm just creating little rainbows going around. And what you're gonna wanna do is you are gonna wanna freeze these so they harden so that you can actually pick them up and place them on the cake. So I did make some of these ahead of time. Um, so these are frozen so that I can move them. I don't know how many I'm gonna end up using. So I'm gonna wanna add some leaves to my flower crown. And you're not gonna hold the tip this way, you're holding it like vertical. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold pressure. So it's like a one, two, and pull, and you're gonna get that leaf shape. One, two, pull. So you could actually make these leaves ahead of time and put them on the cake, but I've actually found that they kind of melt really quickly when with the warmth of your hands. So I like just adding them directly onto the cake. So let's go ahead and add those now. So pressure, one, two, pull. One, two, pull. And I think this green just adds some good color. So now that my lamb is nearly completely done, I'm just gonna add those rosettes all around the side. So I'm just using that same bright white buttercream with my Wilton 2D tip. And I'm gonna go ahead and do two layers of rosettes. All right, so my lamb cake is done, and I think this is the perfect cake for Easter, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel.